In this lesson, you will define force, differentiate between a push and a pull, and determine how forces can change the movement and shape of objects. In this lesson, you will define force, differentiate between a push and a pull, and determine how forces can change the movement and shape of objects. Let us do activity number one tug of war. Before we begin our topic, let us answer this. Which images show a pulling force? The correct answer is letter B and C. Which images show a pushing force? The correct answer is letter A and D. Motion, it is the movement or change in position of an object, resulting from force. Force simply refers to a push or pull that is capable of influencing an object's behavior. This could range from the wind gently swaying the tree branches to a powerful force moving the cart forward. A push involves applying force in a direction away from you as the source. You often push objects in your daily activities. Consider the act of opening a door. You push the door to move it away from you. Similarly, Pressing an elevator button and even typing on a keyboard involve exerting a push. A pull on an object moves it toward its source. When you are pulling open a drawer, grabbing the handle of a suitcase, or towing your school bag, your force brings the objects closer to you. Drawing a curtain is also an example of a pulling force. What can force do? 1. A force can make the object move. For example, an ice hockey player uses a force to move the hockey puck. Two, a force can change the direction of a moving object. Example, a volleyball player uses a force to move the ball in a different direction. Three, a force can make a moving object to speed up. Example, a cyclist uses a bigger force to pedal her bicycle and increase its speed. 4. A force can stop a moving object. For example, a baseball player uses a force to catch the ball and stop it from moving. 5. A force can change the property of a material. For example, a baker uses a force to change the shape and consistency of his mixture. Class, what are the two main categories of forces?
There are two main categories of forces, contact forces and non-contact forces. Contact forces result from two objects touching each other. For example, dribbling a basketball, kicking a soccer ball, and hitting a shuttlecock. While non-contact forces act on an object without coming into contact with another object. For example, gravitational force, magnetic force, and electrostatic force. Gravitational force is the force by which an object attracts another object towards itself. The Earth pulls objects towards itself due to its gravitational force. Magnetic force is a force that attracts or repels magnetic objects. It is the push or pull exerted by a magnet. Electrostatic force is the force that exists between electrically charged particles. How force can change an object's shape. Force can change the shape, size, and movement of an object. From the application of push or pull to the stretching, bending, twisting, and compressing of materials, Forces play an important role in shaping the physical environment. One, stretching. Stretching lengthens or extends an object. For instance, when you stretch a rubber band, you apply force that temporarily changes its shape. This force is also applicable to activities like gymnastics or stretching of materials and mechanical systems. Two, bending. Bending means applying force that curves or flexes an object. Examples are trees swaying in the wind and a flexible plastic ruler being bent. These show how force can change the shape of objects. Three, twisting. Twisting applies rotational or circular forces, causing objects to rotate around their axis. Examples are wringing a wet cloth and turning a key in a lock. These actions show how forces change objects. Using a key in a doorknob is another example of twisting force. Four, squeezing. Squeezing involves applying force to compress or change the volume of an object. 
Kneading dough and compressing a stress ball are examples of squeezing forces. Understanding material responses to squeezing is important for food processes such as baking. Did you know that force is an invisible helper that affects everything around you? You apply it to do simple things like pulling, pushing, lengthening, shortening, bending, twisting, and squeezing objects. Class, let's have a simple game based on content topics. Read each item carefully and choose the best answer. Part 1. All About Forces Question number 1. A force is a push or a pull. True or false? The correct answer is true. Question number two, force can change the direction of a moving object. True or false? The correct answer is true. Did you get it right? Let's move on to question number three. Identify the effect of force in each diagram. Question number three. The box shifts forward while Kai pushes it. What will happen to the box? The correct answer is the box will move. Question number four. Kit hits a ball coming toward him. What will happen to the ball? The ball will change direction. For our last question, the crate remains at rest while on the ramp. What will happen to the crate? The correct answer is stop. Did you get it right? Comment down below your score. Time to review. Let's use the diagram to sum up the key points of our lesson. Activity number two, read the questions carefully. Write your answers in your notebook. Let us answer activity number three.
Let us answer activity number four. 